and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be watching yet another animated movie that has been requested heavily on this channel, Wreck-It Ralph. Now like all animated movies I've covered recently, I've heard nothing but good things about this movie. So I'm excited to check it out for myself. I know it's based around like arcade and video game characters and stuff like that, but I am curious to see how accurate they'll get gamer culture, I guess. <laughs> Normally when you see like depictions of like gamers and game culture and movies, it's for the most part pretty negative. Society seems to have shifted in that where it's no longer nerdy to be a gamer, I guess. It's more what everyone's doing, really. Uh, so I'm curious to see how they will translate that into this Disney movie, because to my knowledge, I don't think they've made video game animated movies before. I know they're not, like, based on an actual video game. Like, I know it's called Wreck-It Ralph, and he's an original character in an original game, so it's not, like, based on Mario or something. But it's still going to be interesting to see the arcade world, I guess. I told my friend I was watching this movie today, and he kind of said it was a little like Toy Story, but with video game characters. I'm curious to see what exactly he meant by that. So let's just go ahead and get into it. This is Wreck-It Ralph. Got a little bit of a temper on me. Hey, you moved my stump. <laughs> my passion bubbles very near the surface, I guess. Not gonna lie. Oh, okay. I thought the game was called Wreck-It Ralph, but it's called Fix-It Felix? I can fix it! So, yeah, naturally the guy with the name Fix-It Felix is the good guy. He's nice <laughs> right. enough as good guys go. Okay, so it's kind of like a mixture of Donkey Kong with, um... I forget. The guy that, like, jumps around on blocks. He's, like, orange and has a weird face. A lot of other games. Asteroids! Pac-Man, Battle Zone, Space Invaders. Asteroids? Ooh, gone. Ooh. Centipedes? Who knows? Frogger! Steady arcade games. Nothing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Oh, it's gone. What the hell? I play that game all the time. All clear! The arcade's closed! Sure you can! <laughs> Ooh, what a day. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the, the Toy Story in video game characters kind of comes in. It looks uncomfortable. It's actually fine. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird. Like, it's a game. Like, you, you're, you're playing a role, but they keep it up kind of after. Or it's like, hey, good job on being controlled by a person. Nice share, Ralph. As fellow bad guys, oh. we've all felt what you're feeling, and we've come to terms with <laughs> the it. The ghost from Pac-Man. Really? Right <laughs> I'm Zangief. I'm bad guy. Oh, He's I'm from Zangief. Street Fighter, right? Bowser, yeah, of course. And I say, Zangief, you are bad guy. But this does not mean you're bad guy. <laughs> yeah, okay. That makes sense. Zombie, bad guy. Zombie. Bye, zombie. <laughs> I love how it's kind of like an, a uh, an AA meeting. You must love you. Yeah, inside <laughs> here. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Fatality. You're not going turbo, are you? Turbo? No, I'm not going turbo. Come on, guys. Is it turbo to want a friend or a medal or a piece of pie every once in a while? Is it turbo to want more out of life? Yes. Turbo. I am bad, and that's good. I will never be good, and if that's not bad, there's no one I'd rather be than me. You can make friends with these guys, can't you? Uh, <laughs> it was in, like, Ghost House. So that was what's back there. We never saw. <laughs> Pac Man Rail now arriving in Outlet 7. Welcome Out. to the game. <laughs> oh, oh, that's clever. So all the. Oh, yeah. Like it even looks like outlets with plugs in them from the inside. That's really clever. And it's like a terminal. There's got to be a lot of those stations, though. You can't even get to all of them. I mean, you know, the amount of stuff that's plugged into that outlet. Stay safe, stay alert, and whatever you do, don't die. Because if you die outside your own game, you don't regenerate, ever. Exposition delivered, but there, oh, there it is. That's the guy I was thinking of. What's his name? He like, he hops around on like this 
It's like pyramid thing. I remember playing the hell out of it. Their sign said unplugged. Does that mean? I'm guessing that means homeless for them. Their game was taken away. Ah! Party. Oh, Sonic was back there. Get rid of him, Felix. Oh, right. Also, they realize they're in a game, right? They realize it's not real. It's acting. You know, you're playing a game. So why are they dickheads to him still? You know, it's like if uh if an actor plays a villain in a movie, but when they they yell cut, they're still like, oh, you dickhead, we're gonna get you. Like, err. Always wanted to try cake. Uh, I don't God. suppose you'd like to come in and have a slice, would you? Hey, yo, everybody! <laughs> you killed him. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Fit as a fiddle. He still had. A, he still had a few lives. Why is he here? He's just here for a slice of cake. And I'm a big part of the game, technically speaking. Uh, why are you here, Gene? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's true. Be a lot happier if you put him up here with everyone else. See that? Look at that smile. No, no, no. You see, Ralph, there's no room for you up here. Hmm. Here, we can take turns. Easy. <gasps> oh. And give it to Ralph for once. Would that be the end of the world, Gene? Now you're just being ridiculous. Only good guys win medals. Nah, I just watched the Olympics. I know that's not true. Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> the frosting is like pixelated. Come on, where can a guy like me go and win a medal? Oh. <laughs> I don't think such a game exists, Ralph. Is that Mario? No, it's not. That's not Mario. Yeah. <laughs> I never played this game myself, but I've seen games that are like it. Our mission is destroy all side bugs. <laughs> we are humanity slash It's home. like a noob. Uh, <laughs> running into a wall or somebody with that connection. Your humanity. Uh, he gave him Zangief's underwear. Uh, what, what was it called? Here, here was something. Here was a. Here was, here was duty. Duty. Here was duty. Oh, there was. So it's like a. It's like a play on Call of Duty. They are. Oh, sorry, Cubert. Cubert. That's his name. Yeah, I definitely remember playing that back in the day with my cousin's house. Morning, kids. Come on in. Good to see you. Good to see you. You too, little fella. <laughs> All right, so that guy that walked in with the kids is definitely a pedophile. He looked like 50s, 60s. Why are you going to an arcade, man? You don't need to be in there. Heads up! First-person shooter coming through. Oh, <laughs> first-person shooter. That's what we look like in-game. We are humanity's last <laughs> hope. Uh, okay, that's clever. Sweet, Mother Hubbard. Whoa. <laughs> so they're basically in Hell Divers, too. Oh, yeah, this is Hell Divers. Watch it, rookie. These monsters become what they eat. <laughs> this game looks cool, but it would definitely be like a game you have to pay $3 for or something. I <laughs> Oh, it's like a, uh, the fly trap. Our job is to get the gamers to the top of that building so they can get a medal, and that's it. So stick to the program, soldier. Right, right, aye, aye. Order alert. Order alert. All right, Pussy Willows, <laughs> back to start position. Pussy Willows. <laughs> All right, she should have called in some stratagem, strat stratiums, whatever. I got next game. Go away, kid. We're gonna play all nine of today's racers. Yeah. This bullying brought to you by Subway. <laughs> Where's the wrecking guy? It's like he's glitched out or something. Oh. <laughs> Quarter alert. Game on. It's like your god staring down at you. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that'd be that'd be insane if that happened to me in an arcade. Just uh. the game's busted. I can fix it. I can fix it. <laughs> <gasps> Out of order. Sweet mercy. 
mercy. Without Ralph, we're doomed. Yes. Maybe he's more important to y'all. He's not just the bad guy. You need him for a game. Where's the eagle? Never lie. Ralph's gone turbo. <gasps> okay. <laughs> what is turbo? The only thing I can think of is like turbo charged. Look at that high definition. Your face. It's amazing. <laughs> Flattery don't charge these batteries, civilian. <laughs> don't charge these batteries. <laughs> Oh, it's like Alien. I never did a lot of arcade stuff. I mean, I went to arcades before and like, I think my school or my daycare at one point had like a lock-in with an arcade and we got to play all the games all night for free. It was really, really fun. Apparently a lot of arcade machines have a button that's hidden that if you press it, you, you could just play it without having to put a quarter in. At least that's what they did. I pretty much just played the Star Wars game that's there as, as long as I could. You are the universe's greatest hero. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's the living embodiment of all this core represents. Oh. Oh, it is a face hugger. I'm pretty sure that was Keith David, though, wasn't it? If they got him to do the, you know, the voice for, like, the video game guy giving you a message, then that's, he's the perfect voice for it. <laughs> Sonic lost his rings. No. This is that candy go kart game over by the whack a mole. Oh, so it's like a it's like a Mario Kart uh, type game. Oh yeah, it's called Sugar Rush, so everything is candy. <laughs> Hi, Mister. <laughs> Oh. That's Sarah Silverman? What's your name? Uh, Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph. You're not from here, are you? Oh, yeah, that's Sarah Silverman, all right? <laughs> Listen, I try to be nice. I try to be nice. You're mimicking You're me. You're mimicking me. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> that is rude, <laughs> and this conversation is <laughs> over. <laughs> bang. Just bang. Yeah? <laughs> Look, wait. Stop me talking for one second. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm not from the candy tree department. Lying to a child. Shame on you, Ralph. But I'm... <laughs> it's my ticket to a better life. Yeah, well, now it's my ticket. What the... She lagged. Cybugs are like a virus. They don't know they're in a game. All they know is eat, kill, multiply. Without a beacon to stop them, they'll consume Sugar Rush. Until this arcade is nothing but a smoking husk of forgotten. Chung Lee! Your, th your thighs! She's programmed with the most tragic backstory ever. <laughs> One day she didn't do a perimeter check. Her wedding day. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. So the cybugs are basically like AI then. So the game makers essentially made a ai virus thing that can you know grow and spread and it doesn't know it's a game also how do you you program the most tragic backstory and they believe it programming a backstory is like basically implanting memories into you i mean didn't really go through them it's just your programming says you did right to decide on who lost them. The first nine races across that finish line will represent Sugar Rush as tomorrow's avatar. <laughs> oh, that's why they said there was like new racers every day. Only nine of them get a spot. Is there a game that does that? Is that? That's pretty cool. I mean, not that they designed their characters to have a end of day race to decide who's going to be in the game, but you know, secret characters randomized for playability. Vanilla B on sweets. Yeah, I'm in the race. Vanilla B. <gasps> the glitch. Oh, glitch. That's what she's doing. She's not lagging. She's glitch. Of course, she's not lagging. <laughs> you. Give me back my medal right now. He's swamp thing. <laughs> Get him. Now we got him. 
Oh, good. <laughs> she went that way. Oh, still. Ow! Dad. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess Sugar Rush doesn't have, like, cell phones with cameras in them or anything. Bad guys don't win medals. Well, this one did. I earned it over in Hero's Duty. You game jumped? Ralph, you're not going turbo, are you? Again with the turbo. Game jumping. Winchell, Duncan, get him out of that cupcake. And on the first train <laughs> back home. Duncan, and he's a donut. Duncan Donut. <laughs> Quick, call out the devil dogs. The two for Hundens. Oh. I'm right here. I'm a devil dog, technically. That's this pedal power west of the whack-a-mole. Check her out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, King Candy says glitches can't race. I'm not a glitch to happy dog. Just got Pixlexia, okay? <laughs> Pixlexia. Also, you can't keep saying glitch. That's her word. You can't use it. Glitching! Hey! See? You're an accident just waiting to happen. Bunch of dicks. Oh! You will never be a racer because you're a glitch. And that's all you'll ever be. <laughs> These guys are assholes. She's basically the Ralph of this game, I guess. Hero's duty? <laughs> it's not that kind of duty. I think <laughs> you really gotta watch where you step in a game called Hero's Duty. <laughs> What'd you win the medal for, wiping? That's a jawbreaker. You're never gonna... <laughs> Damn, that's impressive. You ever had a jawbreaker? God damn. Whenever I go to Florida, I get like one of those big ones that takes me days to get through. Go on, buddy. <laughs> but shake on it. Ah, uh, come on, Jumbo. Ralph, my man. My main man. Hey, my arm's getting tired. We have a deal or not? I will say they have like really great voices. <laughs> go Turbo. That's right. You guys just got plugged in. Well. Back oh. in the arcade first open, Turbo Time was by far the most popular game. Oh, Turbo was a person. He abandoned his game and tried to take over the new one. These are the greatest graphics I've ever seen. Turbo-tastic! <laughs> oh, wow. Turbo-tastic! Oh, come on! <laughs> Turbo ended up putting both games and himself out of order. Oh, so that's going Turbo. You go to play a different game. Double strike. What is this? Nesquik sand? <laughs> Never was a fan of Nesquik. Hold it yourself! Oh. Oh. The vines! They're Laffy Taffy! They're attracted <laughs> to whatever makes them laugh! Laffy Taffy. Now do your duty! That's an order! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's working. Hit me again. Okay, so she's gonna be the dominatrix in this relationship. <laughs> Don't forget your safe word, Felix. <laughs> it's kind of like Android 18 falling for Krillin <laughs> in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is this place? Where are the carts? You gotta make one. What? No, 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 no. Look, kid, bad idea. Trust me. It is like Mario Kart where you could uh, make your your cart with your wheels and if you were going to have a car or a bike. Baking! Pump up the heat and hold the perfect temperature! Ah, a little help here! I'm on it! Ah. Yeah, no problem. So do you have to do this every single time you want to play the game or is it like... It's just, just optional because I don't know if I would want to have to create a card for every arcade game I wanted to play, you know? Congratulations! You did it! And here's your card! Oh. <laughs> they actually did make a car. I thought it was just gonna be gloopy, <laughs> glooping out. I can't make things. I just break. I love it. Yeah, she's gonna love it. Yep. You do? I love it! 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 <laughs> okay. I do like Sarah Silverman's voice for Vanellope, because, like, she can 
get really high pitched and like her bo- voice breaks and I think it fits the character of hell of a lot. I also think John C. Riley is a perfect voice for Ralph. They nailed the the voices really. I uh, don't know how to drive a real cart. You don't what? <laughs> That cart runs on one Ralph power. Flintstones power, really. Drive into the wall! What? Right there between the two sugar free lollipops! <laughs> uh, if she's a glitch, she knows all the little glitches, I guess. Oh, I'll just, I'll just magically win the race just because I really want to. Look, wise guy, I know I'm a racer. I can feel it in my code. <laughs> feel it in my code instead of bones. I go home with that baby around my neck and I'll get a penthouse, pies, ice sculptures, fireworks. No, I get it. That's exactly what racing would do for me. Yep, yeah, see? They're reflective of each other in their own unique ways. Their own unique games. Diet Cola Hot Springs. Watch out for falling Mentos. Yeah, check oh. it out. Look. <laughs> falling Mentos into into cola, yeah. I think it's some sort of unfinished bonus level. Yeah, huh. it's pretty cool, huh? I found that secret opening, and now I live here. See? Oh, look, oh. look, look, look. Yeah, so she, it is... She knows that stuff. Also, she's she's so cute. <laughs> she's adorable. I mean, everyone here says I'm just a mistake and that I wasn't even supposed to exist. What do you expect? POV, me when I go to my family reunions. And this, <laughs> wait, what is this? That doesn't do anything. Ooh, what's the price tag here? Ralph only drives automatics. Uh, getting used to the gear shift. <laughs> I have no idea how many times I stalled out driving around a parking lot trying to <laughs> figure it out. Oh. <laughs> they glit she glitched. Up, 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 down. Up. Be a start. <laughs> Of course. And it was on a old Super Nintendo controller. Oh. <laughs> so he could have helped him. He just chose... Oh. Oh! Is Vanellope like that bonus level where she was meant to be part of the game and just unfinished and that's why she's a glitch? You are one dynamite gal. Wow. You are one dynamite gal. One <laughs> dynamite gal. Dynamite gal. Dynamite gal. Dynamite. <laughs> uh, that's a trigger phrase. Should have locked him up when we had the chance. Locked him up? Not making the same mistake with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a verp. A what? Vomit and a burp together, and you can taste it. And it's just like rising up. Oh, this is so exciting. I know exactly what she's talking about. The, ah. Those people are going to love you. You know why? Because you're a winner. A winner. And you're adorable. I'm adorable. <laughs> and everyone loves an adorable yeah. winner. Yeah. I've called her adorable in this reaction. So, yeah. I'm going to beat the feeling out of you. Ha-ha! You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Ha-ha! You hit a guy <laughs> with glasses. <laughs> well played. <laughs> He hit a guy with the glasses. Are you interested in this? I matter. How did you? It doesn't matter. Yo, it's yours. Go ahead, take it. So he probably wasn't supposed to go into the code then. Since he said earlier he couldn't do it, he could have just done that the whole time. Probably a no-no. I'm not against her. I'm trying to protect her. If Vanellope wins that race, she'll be added to the race roster. And when they see her glitching and then you glitching and just being herself, they'll think our game is broken. Ah. Uh. But there's one who cannot escape because she's a glitch. Nobody stop her! Oh. When the game's plug is pulled, no! she'll die with it. Wow, okay. Um. Mm. She won't listen to me. 
So can I count on you to talk a little sense into her? Very good. E. It's a stink brain. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Turn it over. I made it for you. Aw. <laughs> yeah, that's, gonna, that's gonna make what happens next real awkward, isn't it? I've been talking to King Candy. King Candy? Yeah. You sold me out? No, I didn't. Listen, you don't understand. No, I understand plenty. Traitor. I'm not a traitor. Listen. You're a rat. Uh. But Ching, they're going to think the game's broken. I don't care. You're a liar. Yo, you better care, because if your game goes out of order, you go down I'm with the ship, to little you. sister. Get out of my way. It's true, though. He's trying to tell you. Well, actually, it might not be true. It could just be a lie. It seems plausible, though. Oh, oh. No, 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 please, no! Oh. Oh. I don't like seeing her so sad. Also, I thought they were going to keep the destruction completely off screen. And that would have been, I don't know, something about it, like the music and it being off screen made it more... Dramatic, I guess. You really are a bad guy. <laughs> oh, Penelope. Oh, Ralph. Oh. Everyone panicked and abandoned ship. But, but I'm here now. It's too late, Ralph. Litwack's pulling our plug in the morning. Well, he says he's bringing in somebody to fix. That doesn't mean he didn't pull the plug, but... But? Never let it be said that I'm not a man of my word. The place is yours, Ralph. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, this guy. This NPC. I was just tired of living alone in the garbage. Well, now you can live alone in the penthouse. I mean, Ralph has a point, though. Y'all are assholes. <laughs> like, you could have just been nicer, and it's amazing how different things would happen. Oh. Ha <laughs> He hit it so hard from the other side, and it made it fall. That was Vanellope. Hey, cough drop. Oh, Explain wait. something to me. If Vanellope was never meant to exist, then why is her picture on the side of the game console? <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about that. It took me a minute. Wonder how many licks it'll take to get to your center. Well, I'll take it to my grave. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Heard enough yet? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Uh, now he's gonna be sticky forever. Okay, Candy tried to delete her code. <laughs> tried to delete her code? Oh. He literally locked up our memories, and I cannot remember. Nobody <laughs> can. Because if she crosses the finish line, the game will reset, and she won't be a glitch anymore. Okay, so it wasn't that she wasn't incomplete like that level. It's just he took her out of it. So what he said about the her her cart, her winning the race is bullshit. All right. I believed it, too, because it seems so plausible. I'm going to wreck it. <laughs> oh, why do I fix everything I touch? <laughs> Dude, you could do that on your... You don't know what it's like to be rejected and treated like a criminal. Yes, I do. That's every day of my life. It is? <laughs> and? And a real numbskull. And? A selfish diaper baby. And? And? <laughs> a stink brain? The stinkiest brain ever. I think it's her little nose. Her little nose is like a different color. <laughs> It's like a little pink little nose. It ties it all together. She's like an adorable little creation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you spun out. You started too soon, stupid. Power up! Oh, oh her cart's like the, uh, those... I forget what they're called. Oh, <laughs> and hers was pie. What are they, they're like those red, white, and blue popsicles that are really good. Light them up, Candlehead. <laughs> uh. 
that? What's this? Cherry bomb! Yeah. <laughs> That's bull. She gets a special like ability on a certain part of the map. Ha 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 ha. This is like the longest cart map in any game ever. I'm not letting you undo all my hard work! Is He's that? Reaching? No way! Tur turbo! I'm Turbo! The greatest <laughs> racer ever! Ah! Oh. It makes sense too, because it's a racing game and he would have wanted to race. Bye, Turbo. I'm fine. Let's finish this race. Wait, if the game resets, will that wipe out all the bugs too? But I didn't cross the finish line. There is no finish line. Well, I guess you can't now. That's everyone. Now we gotta blow up this exit. Just go. Go without me. Without a beacon, there's no way to stop these monsters. Beacon. What? What's the beacon? Oh, the Mentos volcano. Oh, okay. Enough of it and it'll come out. Yeah. Also, dude, you're... Welcome to the boss level. Turbo. <laughs> Become the new round. Oh. I'm now the most powerful virus in the arcade. <laughs> oh. I should thank you, but it'd be more fun to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, well, yeah, because they are viruses, so he is now... Well, he was a virus before, because he would go into games and ruin them, and they'd have to get unplugged. So the two viruses of this arcade combined. Andy. Also, this whole little area looks like a, a final boss, like, stage, you know? Look at that, it's his little friend. Let's watch her die together, shall we? No! Oof. No. Just for me. Oh, is he gonna... The metal... Is he gonna die? There's no one I'd rather be... ...than me. That was a big sacrifice play, man. Oh. I started getting a little teary-eyed there because I was like, they might kill Ralph. He sacrificed himself to save Vanellope and stuff, but nah. <laughs> Why are you going into the law? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> you can't fight your programming. Go into the law. <laughs> Woo. Well, he did. <gasps> uh. Uh, I excuse me, huh? <laughs> Bro, she's gonna break your pelvis. She'll snoo snoo you to death. She seems to be intense about that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh. She's a Disney princess. Oh, so the castle is hers and everything. As your merciful princess, I hereby decree that everyone who was ever mean to me shall be. <laughs> Executed. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. You are. Stop crying, Taffeta. I'm trying to. No one stop. Uh, I mean, to kill them, they'd have to take them out of the game and, you know, kill them there because they would just re respawn if they died here, right? I was here. I was there. I was glitching through the wall. I'm not giving that up. You get to stay a glitch even though you're. Connected again? Still have them all executed though, Vanellope. You it was a fake out. Like you're gonna lead them outside the game to Grand Central Station and um fix its girlfriend is just gonna bang, bang, bang. <laughs> the nice landers are being nice to me. Oh. And you know that guy's about guy. those poor guys. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> 
I'm telling you guys, we haven't huh. been this popular in years. Cool. It's crazy. Wow. The gamers yeah, say bullshit. We're retro, I'm totally bullshit on that. I think means oh. old but cool. Retro. Okay, yeah, maybe, but. Very elegant affair. Should have seen it. A lot of grandeur. And not a single bug. <laughs> Tire said. The kid's a natural. And the player's lover, glitch and all. Yeah, she's she's got a cheat code. She can just cheat right in front of us. That's cheating. Because if that little kid likes me. Oh, they can see each other. How bad can I be? Yeah, okay. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so, Wreck-It Ralph. I liked it. I actually enjoyed it. I think I had... I think I enjoyed it a lot more in the beginning when they were going to like a bunch of different games and we were seeing how that I love that stuff. I love that world building and like setting up exactly how this world functions. I love learning that kind of stuff. And then when it got to like the um, the uh, Sugar Rush game, it just kind of stayed there for the rest of the movie for the most part. And you didn't really learn as much. You learned about Turbo and stuff. But I at that point, you're kind of just, OK, I know how this world works. Let's see what the story is. And it was perfectly fine. And I'll admit, for a while, I was like, oh, I, I guess this movie won't have a villain. It's just going to be that cyber bug or whatever the hell it is eventually coming back. And that's going to be the main problem, which it was. But there was a villain in Turbo. And I have to say, as far as like surprise villains and twist villains go, I think that was really good. I honestly did not see it coming whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, when King Candy gave his little speech about why he didn't let Vanellope race. I was, in the back of my head, I was kind of like, okay, maybe some of that's not true, but also it made so much sense. And with what everybody knew and what we were being told, I thought, maybe not a villain, but there might be something else to him. I don't, I, I don't know. I was just kind of like believing what I was told there because it seemed plausible with what we've been told about this world's mechanics. So when we found out, oh no, she's not a glitch, she was part of the code, and she was removed, and he's actually Turbo, it's like, oh, that backstory we got of him, it's like one of those oh moments that was really cool, and maybe it's obvious when you rewatch the movie, but him being Turbo was such a clever uh, twist that I'm genuinely surprised by it. So, good job to that, filmmakers. Normally I can point that kind of stuff out i think the voices were perfect for literally everybody like i said i love sarah silverman and john c Riley as their characters i felt like they had a good dynamic with each other sarah silverman her voice can get annoying it has it's a very high pitch type thing it can get real annoying but luckily vanellope was just so charming and likable that it didn't really irritate me and in fact when it w did go high pitched and like break her voice breaks uh, I was like, oh, that's so cute. And then John C. Riley, of course, he's got that. And I don't mean to slam the guy, but he, he can pull off a doofus. You know, he's got that doofus voice. He can just perfectly pull off. <laughs> and uh, I know that there's a sequel, so maybe I should check that out at some point. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if I should. And you can go ahead and check out my Patreon where you can get access to polls, early access, full length, and be able to tell me what other movies or TV shows I react to in the future. But until next time... That's it.